Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to understand how to configure a basic cluster. In the last few lectures, we have got an idea how to you know configure a KVM environment. And over to your KVM server, we have installed the virtual machines, that is your nodes, cluster nodes, node A, node B, and node C. And all the nodes is having proper communication. They have passwordless authentication. So let me move towards my node A. Now I'm a node A, I need to install the required package for the cluster. And apart from that, I need to do some configuration part as well. And whatever I need to do it on node A, the same I have to do it on node B as well as on node C. So I'm going to create a setup so that if I'm firing any command on node A, the same command would be firing on node B as well as on node C as well. So for that I need a package that is called tmux. So simple, I'm using yum install tmux. So this package is already installed and after that you need to move into the tmux mode. Now I'm in tmux mode. I need to fire a command that is control B and double quote it. So my screen, my putty session has been divided or split into two equal parts. But I have three nodes. So I am again, you know, splitting my, the bottom one into two parts. So for that, I need to fire this control B and percentage. So it is again divided into two parts. But in all the, you know, frames, you can see that I have logged into node A only. So let me change it to node C, okay. And uh, to move from you know one uh, block to another block, I need to fire this Control V O. Now I am the top Control V O, and I am on the second one. SSH Node B. Okay. Now on each pane, you can see that I have logged into all my nodes: Node A, Node B, and Node C. And if you want to move from move from one node to no another node, you have to fire Control V O. Control B O. Okay, but if I'm firing any command, it is not synchronizing as of now. For that, you have to fire Control B semicolon. Again, I'm telling it's Control B colon set W synchronize dash pins. Okay, so this has been done now. Okay, if I'm firing any command, you can see that whatever I'm typing on node A, the same is typing on node B as well as the node C. Okay. And one more thing, the yum is configured on all the nodes, right? So you have to configure the yum for all the required nodes that is node A and node B and node C. Okay. The very first package that is required for the, you know, cluster, the pacemaker package, that is the PCS package and uh, when you install this PCS package so it will also install the Corosync and pacemaker package which is automatically installed as dependencies okay and uh, I'm going to use yum so the command is yum install and the package is PCS and I also need to install the fence fence isn't as well so if you are aware like which fence agent is required for your environment, you can specify the fence agent. Okay. So I'm using all the fence agents, package for all the fence agents. So like suppose if you are using a KVM environment, for so KVM we have a you know different fencing agent. If you have a you know vCenter setup, for vCenter center, center we have a another you know fencing agent. But if you are not aware, better you can install all the fencing agents and uh, whatever the setup you have, you can use that fencing agent. So fencing is basically, you know, if any of the node like node A and node and node C, if any of the node is not responding. So what will happen? The fence agent will, you know, stun it or you can say it's reboot that node, right? So we'll configure the, you know, fence as well. So I'm installing this EM install PCS and this fence this agents and I'm selecting all
okay so this has been done now the next step is to you know configuring a firewall for cluster communication so we need to add a service to your firewall so as of now system ctl status firewall d it is running and uh, the service which is you know accepting is this one firewall d that is okay it is accepting only SSH and DSCP more than six so these are the default services if you install you know firewall D so these are services which is default enabled on your system but I need that uh, the high availability service should be enabled so that it will allow cluster communication to each other so how we can add this I need to fire this command firewall CMD and uh, I need to add a service that is high availability okay and uh, successful and if you want to cross check so you can see that high availability has been added and the same command is firing on all the node you can see node B and node C as well but if I'm going to reboot the service of firewall or if I'm going to reboot the box what will happen this service will be gone out to make it permanent I need to fire the same command with permanent so this is permanent now if you are going to reboot the service of firewall this service will be auto added all the time okay and uh, the next is your this uh, service so the cluster service is your PCSD now so PS PCSD service provides the cluster configuration synchronization and the web front end that we'll understand so we need to check the status of your service system CTL and uh, enable this PCSSD so it is getting fail now so we need to start this one so this has been started now status is running to make it permanent so that after the reboot also the system will come up with this service you have to put it enable I can see that simply you know I'm firing on one node it is doing on all the nodes okay so as of now we have just simply you know installed the package and added the cluster you know cluster services in the firewall and started the you know main service for the cluster that is PCST that is also called you know PCS cluster configuration as well so friend that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we'll continue from here so thanks for watching and if you have time please join me in the next lecture